Hey friends, today's video is gonna be a get ready with me slash mini vlog of my birthday weekend. So of course I'm starting off with my skincare routine. I like to cleanse my skin thoroughly and also have a mini concert in my bathroom. <laughs> I'm using the Fenty Fat Water as my toner and I love this stuff. I'm finally almost done with it. It's taken so long to get through it so there's plenty of product in this bottle. Then I'm going in with the Fenty Under Eye Cream. I have not been using it long enough to see any difference but I do enjoy using it. Then I'm going in with my J Roller to massage my skin. It helps reduce puffiness and it stimulates the circulation in my face which makes my skin appear brighter and firmer which is really good in the morning then i picked up my outfit ideally i would have liked to have already picked up my outfit but i went out the night before so here we are the morning of picked up my outfit it's really cute i actually got it from this brand i'll link the video where i did a try on haul up in the cards above and i'll put it in the description box below going in with my eos shea butter 24 hour moisture body lotion it is pomegranate and raspberry and it smells so so good now it's time to get ready and please excuse my room because when i'm trying to pick out outfits i just throw a lot of clothes on my bed so that's what you're seeing in the background disregard that <laughs> for my makeup i like to put usually a button up shirt or a robe on top of my outfit just so that my makeup doesn't drip because yes i am clumsy and i have had that happen before where makeup got on my outfit and then at this point it was just really hard to get it out so yeah uh, i do makeup and then i do my hair and so this was the very first twist out after I got my hair cut. And you'll see in a few seconds that I really was not feeling my hair for this look. But I made it work. final look I do not like it at all I don't know I don't know I don't like it but I gotta go I'm trying to go to my birthday brunch and I'm gonna be late now so this is the final look I think this outfit is so cute I actually got it from a brand they sent it to me for free uh, last year I think and yes it's doing, I don't know why I hold my stomach like that. Suck it in. It's doing what it needs to do. <laughs> I've been wanting to try this restaurant called Fig and Olive, which is in City Center, DC. It's an upscale restaurant that serves Mediterranean dishes. My cousin bought me a bottle of Prosecco. We enjoyed the customizable mimosa service where we were able to pick from five different juices. We picked the spice apple cider, the pomegranate, and the pear nectar. There were also a lot of garnishes that we were able to choose from. I picked them based on the juices. So I got the dehydrated apple, pomegranate seeds, and pear slices. And of course we were able to then mix and match these for our own drinks. For appetizers, Caleb got the Riviera Crostini and Isaiah got Bueller's pork ribs. It had citrus and spiced honey and they were very crispy. It was so good. Perfect combination of sweet and savory. So for my entree and all the ladies that were there, we all got the French toast. And I was a little mm, disappointed when I saw how much French toast we each got. My cousin got the burger and fries and my friend Dave got steak, eggs and then salad with truffle fries. My brother got the lemon and ricotta pancakes with blueberries, compote 
and toasted hazelnuts that topped it. All the food looked good. The presentation was on point. And it also tasted good as well. I just wish we had more French toast. After brunch, I did a little mini photo shoot and it made me late to my nail appointment that I scheduled a whole month ago. But luckily, I was sent some polishes from Nail Reserve a couple months ago. I really wanted my nails done for this fancy dinner that I was about to go to and these polishes really came through. So Nail Reserve's products are vegan, nine free, and cruelty free. And nine free means that the polishes are formulated without certain ingredients and it makes them safe for basically anyone to use. With Nail Reserve, you're able to get this long quality gel nail polish that is also healthy for you. There are over 200 shades of soak off gel polish to choose from. It's the variety for me. And yeah, so I did my own little manicure here. I had a bowl with soap and water to let my nails soak in for a little bit. I filed them down and I used my nail clippers to clip them up. And I also enjoyed a glass of wine while I was doing it and was listening to some music and I enjoyed it. So they sent me five different colors and I'll list them in the description box below along with the 50% off code that I have and a link to their website. So these, like I said before, these polishes really came through and I was really excited to be able to use them for a special day. For dinner, we went to this place called True Lux in DC. You know, I spent a lot of this day in DC. <laughs> Anyways, I got dressed up and I wore a, another dress that was sent to me from the same brand that sent me that outfit from earlier. Now this restaurant had, I believe, four dollar signs on the Google. In the comments below, guess how much we spent? <laughs> Cause, or not me, my boyfriend spent. It, it was expensive. My drink was called Voila. It's a sensory tour, the force of dry ice smoke, vodka, kava, shambard, pineapple juice, and raspberries. And it was tasty. For the appetizer, we got the Jumbo lump crab cake would definitely recommend. For the main, I got a South African cold water lobster tail. It says it's the Rolls Royce of lobster and it's at market price and y'all know that means it's expensive. And I loved every bite of it. For the sides, I got the crab fried rice and asparagus. This entire meal, 10 out of 10, would definitely recommend this restaurant. We got a nice bottle of red wine and they also gave us butter on top of fire so like it stays melted for the lobster and mm, it was really good and they had garlic in it it was just so good chris did a surf and turf so he got a steak i think this was the filet and then he added some surf to the turf he got the shrimp and his was very very good as well and then there was live music. Of course, I can't play it for you guys because I don't want to get a copyright strike, but music was beautiful. He was giving like 90s vibes. There's a lot of songs in there. When he started to sing Genuine, it was, oh, was it Tyrese? I think it was Tyrese, Sweet Lady. Oh my God, all the girls were so excited about that. It was perfect. And then, of course, I got some gifts. He got me some jewelry. And then I got a free dessert for my birthday. I thoroughly enjoyed this night.
And the next day after church, I went back to city center. There were some people protesting for clothing that one of the luxury brands still sold. I went into Louis Vuitton and I tried on these shoes. They were beautiful. I wanted to bring them to Paris with me, but honestly, I didn't like how they fit in the front. It was just too narrow for me. And they were also like $1,200, which was a lot, but I was honestly willing to pay that. And then I was balling this day because I went to Chanel and I actually got a gift from my cousin. And guess it was expensive, but that's the hashtag luxury lifestyle. Hashtag black girl luxury. I got her some classic earrings because she's a CC. My name is Gabrielle Glenn. Her name is Candace C. So she got me Gigi last year, Gucci, and so I'm getting her Chanel this year, which was perfect. And yeah, this is my first Chanel purchase and I got a card from the SA in the store. So next time I, if I need, if I need to go to Chanel, I can set up an appointment and just walk right in because I did have to stand in line, which I was not a fan of, but whatever. And yeah, so that was that. serious about our luxury items here this deserves a seatbelt although it's not really going to do anything and then the next day i actually went to go get my nails done at the salon that i missed my appointment for on saturday so this one is a new salon i went the very first day they opened and i love it it's like luxury they give us wine every time i come and i really enjoy that while getting pampered, drink a little glass of wine. I love that. So it's really beautiful inside and these are the final results. And that's it for this vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed. Click the subscribe button and the bell to be notified whenever I post. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.